often say whenever anybody asks me about charity, it's to me, it's it's always the easy line. It's food first. Yes, every other organization's good that helps our community in so many, so many different ways, and they're all critical. But it all starts with the first thing: is helping people to put food on the table. We don't realize that people really don't have food to eat, and we take it for granted. It's not the other layers. It's the Shabbat dinner and it's Saturday lunch, and this really changes a family's life. hope this letter finds you all well. Our family probably will never be able to express to you the gratitude we feel, as you are the food fund that has kept a roof over our heads and food in our stomach. The Sephardic Food Fund was there for our family from day one after my father passed away at a young age. To the Sephardic Food Fund and the whole community, the other day I was called by the Sephardic Food Fund asking me if I would share my story with the community. In these troubled times I automatically said yes of course. No words can describe what the Food Fund has done for my family. You gave us the joy and peace of mind we have not had in years. The Sephardic Food Fund team was there for our family emotionally and most notably financially. As the wife and mother of this family, I must thank you. If not for Hashem having you find us when you did, I would not have the will to survive all my illnesses, as money is such a problem for us. Very low, almost no overhead. Literally, when you give money to Food Fund, know that the vast majority of the money is getting right to the people that are in need. The more money they get, the more money they give out, the more food people get. Today we need to make sure that hunger does not exist in our community. A child cannot go to sleep with his stomach rumbling. Dedicated mothers are running out of tears. Mainstream community members serving hot dogs for Friday night dinner. About 15 years ago, my dad and I owned a very successful, well-known company we provided school buses and motor coaches. We serviced majority of the community organizations and family events in the business for over 35 years. My dad and I never thought this time would ever come. Unfortunately, we were forced to close shop. The relief of stress and anxiety of the unknown after my father had no life insurance. I am a mother, a wife, who comes from a regular home, who at a time in my life my husband was not doing well, and so he wasn't able to work and provide for my family. Our father, he had no life insurance, and on top of being distraught from the loss, our family was worried, scared, anxious, and nervous of what will be in the future. My husband is the main and only source of income in my house, so it came to a point where I literally did not know how I was going to put food on my table. My grandfather always taught us, your name is gold, always keep it clean and not tarnished. We had just enough to pay all our debt off and walk out clean, not owing anybody a penny before we closed. Not thinking about our own livelihood. The day after we closed, I had no idea what I was going to do. An empty fridge is very depressing to look at in a photograph, all the more so when that fridge is in your own kitchen. At that time, I owned a house with a mortgage, leased two cars, tuition, kids, etc. Had no idea where to turn. It came to a point where we were struggling to put food on the table no less start looking for a job. About a year before this happened, the Sephardic Food Fund opened, servicing the community to help families in troubled times. So I took a chance and called them, very embarrassed, being that I was always on the giving donating side and never on the asking side. One of our friends knew exactly what was going on in my house, and so he immediately reached out to the Sephardic Food Fund for us. A good friend of the family went to the Sephardic Food Fund on our behalf because my husband had a mini mental breakdown. We got a credit card the next day, and I was able to use in any grocery store or butcher. I can't tell you what this did for me. No words can explain how relieved, humbled, and confident I was not to have to worry about putting food on my table. I have been hospitalized again and again, but this time I don't have to worry about my children having food, as now I can give the credit card to my parents or my brother, who the four of us live with, and say, here you can buy food for the family. The Sephardic Food Fund team next day delivered a credit card with my wife's name on it with no organization printed on the credit card so she does not have to feel uncomfortable and can shop like she normally does. The first thing they told me, we are here now and you have nothing to worry about. Utilizing a genius idea of a pre-filled credit card was phenomenal. I don't have to be embarrassed to accept and use the money. I pay with a credit card and no one knows it's Deca, and my kids think mommy is rich. There was never a shortage of food. There was never anything missing from our table. 
Never did our family feel ashamed or embarrassed. On Shabbat, I can serve the food they like, their favorite meat dishes, without worrying how I am going to pay the grocery bill. We were able to go to the supermarket, butcher, grocery store, hand a credit card with dignity, and purchase our needs. The kids don't have to be deprived of their favorite snacks without being humiliated by their friends in school. And on holidays, the extra money they give us for food is a great help and it is the most important thing. The Sephardic Food Fund was one of the biggest tools that helped my husband get back on his feet. He was able to focus on just getting better and not on who's going to feed his wife and five kids. The Food Fund helped me also to create an open pathway to focus on my business future. I made my wife feel like the Eshet Chayil that she always has been by my side. To say thank you is not early enough. You are a lifesaver and a gift from Hashem to my family. For without the food fund, many of us would feel alone and not have the faith in Hashem that we should always have. The most amazing thing is this is one of hundreds of stories and cases they take on. Whether it's Rosh Hashanah, Purim, Shabbat, it's the regular week that the Sephardic Food Fund is helping our very own community members get through the daily grind, day-to-day life. To silence the sounds of those empty stomachs. To give peace of mind to a poor and suffering widow. It has been over 15 years now since the Sephardic Food Fund saved my life. I respect the people heading the food fund for the dignity I felt when using the food card. I knew everything was confidential. The entire team is L'Shem Shamayim. Any assistance given to them is definitely on an extremely high level as the giver doesn't know the recipient and the recipient doesn't know who the giver is. The Sephardic Food Funds make solutions possible by enabling community members to have a clearer mind by eliminating the worry and fear of not giving your family the basic necessities. About a year ago, my 22-year-old son came over to me and asked, Dad, I would like to give my said for my company to help needy people for Passover and donate to the Sephardic Food Fund. I had tears in my eyes, being that he had no idea what the Sephardic Food Fund did in the past for our family. Money given to the Sephardic Food Fund is something of a very holy and very special place. This organization is the real deal, feeding thousands of families in our community your friends, your relatives, your neighbors. Untold suffering can and will be reduced and or eliminated because of the existence of this organization. Today, Bezrat Hashem, my husband is doing great and any chance we get to give Sezaka, we run and give to the Sephardic Food Fund because we know well enough what they're about. Thank you for all of your help and with the blessings from Hashem, may we be able to give back to this organization one day to help others like us through these hard times so that one day we will be blessed with good, peaceful, healthy, prosperous lives. Humbled and thankful to write you this letter. Keep doing what you do. You literally saved us and there's no better organization that I would support with tears in my eyes. Our community is in dire need now due to the coronavirus. Please donate now so we can help one another get through these tough times. May Hashem bless each and every one of the many members, staff, and volunteers of this crucial, vital, and important organization. To school in Mitzvot, and thank you to the Sephardic Food Fund and everybody involved. Thank you. As a result of the current crisis, we are struggling to feed the 320 families that rely on us to eat every day. In response, we have implemented the new A Sponsor a Family campaign. When you visit our website, sffsponsorafamily.com, you will get a personal and up-close look at the families we support. You will read about the family dynamic and the current circumstances that brought each of them to us for help. You will see the amount we distribute to the family each week and you will have the opportunity to sponsor a specific family in our list. When you donate, not only are you providing a family with physical necessities, but you are giving them hope and a chance to get them back on their feet.